We are a cardiac surgeon today. Let's get into it, and let's try not to kill the neighbor. Although, maybe we have some kind of ulterior motive, and maybe we'll accidentally slip up in the surgery, and the neighbor will end up dead. But that's kind of me. Hello, everybody! I am Kindly Kean, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor Ripoff Games. We're playing another mobile ripoff game of Hello Neighbor, but this one just totally caught my attention. It looked too funny to pass up on neighbor heart surgery. You can imagine, it's like a whole new narrative to the game, right? Like, imagine if we were actually trying to break into the neighbor's house because we think that he's having a heart attack and we have to save him. But now, the premise of this game is to actually fix the neighbor's heart. I guess we are some kind of surgeon. I haven't actually played it yet, but oh my gosh, it just looked hilarious based on the description. So we're jumping in here. You can see, I guess our little character man here is trying to save the neighbor who is suffering from some kind of serious cardiac issue. Let's jump in here and see what this game is all about. Okay, yes, okay. Here is the opening uh, cut scene, if you will. It appears that the neighbor, he's just, he's just watching some tunes in his house. He's drinking some tea. He's just doing his thing. This is what the neighbor does. Oh, he's having a nice cappuccino. That's my bad. Uh, that's not tea. Okay, he's, he's got some sophisticated coffee tastes. Uh, he looks, uh oh, oh, he's getting a little shaky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, goodness, he's dropped everything. His chest is starting to hurt. You, you, I think you lose sensation in your left arm when a heart attack is coming about. Oh, my gosh, that is that's a little bit graphic. Oh, my goodness, he's, he's, he's fallen to the floor. No, we must save the neighbor. This is, the tables have turned here. They've, they've completely turned. And so now, <laughs> oh, my heart, yeah. Yeah, I would, I would say the same thing. So now, as the, the fellow neighborhood watch here, we have discovered that our neighbor has had a catastrophic heart attack, and we're calling, I guess, 911, and then I guess the, the ambulance shows up and, and saves the neighbor. Again, I have not actually played this game. Okay, ambulance treatment. I guess now we have to treat the patient inside of the ambulance. So let's, uh, let's try it out here. Okay. We're zooming along the road. Neighbor, hang in there, buddy. Uh, what, what's his name? We, we still don't actually know what his name is. Oh my gosh, we must have hit some kind of insane bump. Okay, uh, he needs medicine. This, right here, right? Yes? Yes? Okay. Uh, so is this the premise of the game? We just need to find the things? Is that it? We give him the oxygen mask. Breathe, neighbor, breathe. It's okay. What is that? Is that a cotton ball of some sort? I don't actually see where it is. Oh man, you guys are gonna be so frustrated with me if I don't find things quickly. Oh wait, is this is this what we're looking for? This thing right here? I don't actually know what this is. Oh, it's it is. It's like a it's a gauze or something to kind of clean up that that bump on your head. Cause remember he fell over after having his heart attack. All right, we're gonna administer some kind of needle-based medicine. Let's uh, here you go, doc. Here, take that, stab that right into his chest. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We got some thread here. Uh, why? What what are we gonna use? Oh, is he dead? No. What is this? I don't understand. Okay. I have a tool of some sort. Oh, I'm lasering. Uh, what? I just lasered around his forehead. What? What do I do now? Okay, I take these these tweezers. I just peeled off a piece of the neighbor's flesh. What the heck kind of doctor am I? I feel like cutting off a wound is a little extreme. It'll heal itself. Okay, let's take our magic medicine or something that will. Oh, we got a we got some skin here, so let's just put that right back. <laughs> This is hilarious. I love this. Okay, let's sew him back together. Uh, do we just, do we have to drag it? Okay, yeah, we do. We have to drag it to each of the little spots here. Let's get that guy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't worry, neighbor. You're all sewn back together. After I peeled off a portion of your head, now your face is more or less back in... Tact. That was a very strange procedure. Um, let's see how this progresses. Uh, we did a great job. We got lots of stars for that. Let's go to general treatment. It's okay, neighbor. Hang in there, buddy. We're gonna take care of you. We might peel off some more sections of your body and sew them back on for whatever reason. Okay, take the oxygen mask. Let's put that back on your face. Oh, breathe, buddy. Breathe. Yep, yep. Get that. Oh, that's good oxygen right there. All right, you're gonna be just fine. Okay. 
That's that's good. He can breathe. Okay, let's take our our little uh, stethoscope. That's what that is, right? And uh, I don't think that's the way stethoscopes normally work. I don't I don't actually. Oh no, this this is a heart monitor, not a stethoscope. Okay, uh, his heart sounds okay. As a trained doctor myself, I'm not a trained doctor. I know what a healthy heartbeat sounds like, and that's a healthy heartbeat. Okay, let's take his blood pressure now. Um, also, one of the things, oh, do I need to press the little baggie? No, 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 slow down, slow down. You're gonna make him pass out or something, I don't know. I don't actually understand blood pressure readings. You know, they, they're they always like, oh, your blood pressure is 240 over 75. And you're like, great, I think. I don't, I don't actually know what's good. Okay? Are you good? You're good, buddy. All right, let's take his temperature with one of these cool temperature guns. Those things are real cool, actually. Like, they're, they're legitimately awesome. Let's see what his temperature is. So, okay, it's going up. 98.7 is what we're looking for. 96, that's a little low. That's a little low. All right, we're gonna take some kind of needle and stab that right into his arm. Oh, goodness, do I push this down? Do I push the syringe? Is that what I do? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, all right, you're, you're better. You're done, buddy. Let's just wipe you off. Just, just, oh, no, that wasn't a cloth. That was, that was his, uh, his gown, his, his hospital gown. So far, if anything, this game has taught me that being a doctor is super easy. It's, it's so easy. I really missed out on my opportunity to jump into the medical field, because, Boy, all you have to do is take things and just drag them over to your patients and they, it just fixes them and they get better. That's it. All right, heart attack fixed. Let's move on to the next level. Let's get into open heart surgery. Yes, we are a cardiac surgeon today. Let's get into it and let's try not to kill the neighbor. Although, maybe we have some kind of ulterior motive and maybe we'll accidentally slip up in the surgery and the neighbor will end up dead. But that's kind of mean. All right, neighbor, you're gonna be fine, buddy. I'm just gonna stab you with this this green juice, green Gatorade. I'm gonna inject this straight into the middle of your chest, and it's gonna give you the electrolytes that you need. Gatorade, magical stuff, absolutely amazing. What is this? Oh, it's time to mark the incision. This is what people do, right? Yeah, that's a perfectly dotted line right there. That's looking pretty good. Come on, get all the way down. Oh, that's gonna be a nice long and deep cut right there. Oh, it's scalpel time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's cut this guy right down the center. Keep it steady. Keep it steady, Doc. Oh, slow down there, Doc. You're moving too fast. You gotta keep those hands nice and steady. You are a surgeon after all. Oh, 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 ah, ah, oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, man. Okay, maybe doctoring isn't for me. I'm a little, I'm a little queasy when it comes to, to blood and gore. Mm, yeah, I don't know about this. All right, let's uh, take some tissue and just, just, just clean that up there. Yeah, you got a little blood on your chest there, neighbor. Let's just, just take some of that cloth and just, just wipe that away. Yeah, right, like that. Is, why isn't this working? Why is, why is this not, it's not working the way that I am expecting it to work. Wait, what? Do I have to follow this thing perfectly? Follow the, this is not working. Come on, come on, buddy. We gotta clean this up. Let's just go like this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, nice clean incision there. Okay, sparkly, sparkly clean. Spray a little Windex on that, shine it up. You're golden. Send him home. All right, these are the things that I think break your ribs because they have to actually break your ribs to get access to your heart. Yeah, it's disgusting. So let's go ahead and uh, take this thing. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, oh my... Oh, I don't like that. In case you're wondering, I do not like that. Okay, now we have to take these things and just... Pry open his chest. That's the way to do it. Oh, okay, that's one side. Let's go ahead and take care of the other side. Just get that, yep, just sweep that out of the way. And then we got some nice looking pliers of some sort. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna chop through your, your ribs, just like that. Just chopping through bone, one after another. Okay, the surgeon life may not be for me, maybe. I was a little bit too ambitious. I have a whole new level of respect for doctors and their craft. Okay, yeah, just 
take that and put that on the plate, save that for later, cook it up, throw it in a stew or something, you know, it'll, it'll be delicious. Okay, uh, I got these things again. Oh, I just need to get those lungs out of the way. Can you just move those off to the side, please? Just, just move those lungs off. Come on, just, come on. What, why, why is it not working? Please. Look, look, I'm, 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 it's not. There we go. Okay, we got that thing out of the way, and now we just need to get this other stupid lung out of the way. Yeah, just push that off to the side. That's the way they do it. Just, I don't know, but oh my gosh, the neighbor's heart is enormous. I would think that for such an evil man, he would have a dark and empty heart. But he's actually a big-hearted individual. Now we're going to take some, some scissor-looking things and chop some tubes. You know, because you don't need those. Just cut those out of there. Get rid of those. Let's just get rid of the whole heart. Just toss that thing out of here. Yeah, let's take this thing. Yeah, yeah, just throw that on the plate. Throw that in with the rest of the stew. You know, that'll be real tasty. What is this thing? Was this some kind of vacuum of some sort? Or no, we're like, we're like doing a, a, a heart system. We're, we're attaching him to some kind of external blood flowing mechanism. I don't know the technical terms. Oh, is this a new heart? Are you giving me a new heart? Can I? Oh, yeah, just put that back right there. This is a nice fresh heart. Okay, now what? Oh, take the tubes away. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, just, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, you dumb tubes. All right, let's sew the heart back on. Easy, easy breezy. No problem. Look at that. Perfect sutures. Just like that, right? Like that. All that time I spent patching up jeans that I ripped while skateboarding really paid off, all right? All right, take these, these pliers. Like a like barbecue grips and just grab that thing. What what are we doing? We're using it to like get it going again. I thought you were supposed to like zap it to get it going again. I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just doing what the game tells me to do. All right, take these things. Are we gonna put the lungs back? Let's put the lungs back where they belong. Neighbor, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, buddy. I just need to figure out where your lungs are. I'm looking for them right now. Okay, there they are. Here's the other one. Let's get that one over there. Come on, come on. Let's let's go. Let's. <laughs> Why is it not working? Come on, get the lung back where it belongs, you stupid neighbor. Maybe you should just die on the table. Oh, hey, your ribs. Let's put that right back. I thought I told you guys to throw that in a stew. All right, we got to like, oh my gosh, we're using metal plates, of course. Put those things back on. We need a screwdriver. Someone get me my power tools. All right, put this thing back together. Grab that guy just like that. Bam, just like that. Easy breezy surgeon master right here. I've watched enough Grey's Anatomy. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've I'm a master of my craft. Okay, we good now. We just need to oh, yeah, just take his whatever this is some kind of membrane of some sort. Just put that back, please. You think surgeons stand there with their, their tools and they're trying to put everything back and they're just swiping their finger across the stupid tool and it's just not working because that's the experience I'm having right now. Can okay. All I need to do is tap it. I don't swipe, just tap, watch. Boom, I'm an idiot, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Put that back together, all right. Sew him back up, grab that thing right there and just bam, sew right there. And we'll put one right there, looking good, right there, come on. Line it up, buddy, there we go. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. We're gonna fix you up nice and pretty like you're gonna be saved so that you can torture people in the future. It's gonna be fantastic. Take some antiseptic, just pour that all over. Just, yeah, cover it. And we'll take some gauze here and just bandage you up. Yep, just like that. Just, yep, clean it up. Perfect. All right, these these bandages are a little crooked, but but that's okay. That's, that's the part that I'm not very good at. The rest of it, solid, solid surgeon. Just get that guy right back like that. Okay, one more, and you're all taped up. That's actually just, just duct tape. We bought it from Home Depot. Good job. Great job. I've done it, and now I am officially a doctor. I will expect my diploma in the mail at any point now. Is that it? That's it. What happens if we hit patient story? Does this give us the, uh, yeah, that's the opening cutscene right there. Okay. Well, we managed to save the neighbor from a catastrophic heart condition. Yeah, I'll be real with you guys. You know that game? It was super easy. There wasn't much to it, but I gotta say the time that I spent with it was actually pretty fun. Probably one of the better 
Hello Neighbor ripoffs that we've played up to this point. Not a super long episode, but that is going to do it for this episode of Hello Neighbor ripoffs. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Keep giving suggestions for weird Hello Neighbor ripoff games that you find. Obviously, I'm still perusing the store here and there every once in a while to see if there's any interesting ones. There is plenty of stuff out there to play. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the left or right hand side of the screen, but that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.